Hello everybody, it's Andrew McClendon coming at you guys with a new video. This one's going to give you guys an update about gold, oil, and some forex trading. So let's hit it. So gold broke into a new, uh, not a new, but a, a very important high. We broke into the 1800s. This is really good, showing that how gold is moving, how silver is moving. Gold may be outperforming it, but silver is going to be that sleeping um, uh, monster that catches up. But well, let's check out the gold-silver ratio. Now, all this does is compare, you know, one ounce of gold and how much one ounce of silver it takes to make uh, to get the same. It takes about a hundred and I'm sorry, ninety-six point eight five to get into one ounce of gold. That is crazy for the current price of gold. But that just shows that how undervalued silver is to gold, and comparing how gold is cheap compared to all the other asset class out there. But let's get into some uh, oil since this has been moving. Gold has been moving oil the oil the gold oil ratio you know has been down a little bit but gold uh, oil may have a little boost and I'll, I'll explain why so we are, are on a uh, oil price.com I check this website all the time for commodity prices oil prices oil news but this is really important I want to show you guys about so this one's gonna be about this one is really good I highlight some of the key parts but now uh, guys please check it out it will be in the description below uh, so back in April 20th, we had that we had that horrible closeout with oil hitting basically negative 40, and since then, you get the uh, uh, some uh, other countries like China have been buying on massive amounts. But what the the big problem about this is that since oh, since China has been buying at this low, buying the dip, they have a huge uh, transportation problem. All their oil has been congested and being basically sitting overseas right now. So this is a good thing and a bad thing. And I'll explain. So we look at the congestion right now. This is the millions of barrels floating just out sea. Pretty crazy right now. So yes, they're buying it. There's some uh, some massive buying power happening to oil. But once they're you know once their things is uh, full, they don't need any more oil for the time being. This might be some upward pressure to go, uh, oil, but then that might be the downward pressure since there's no more buying. So here's a, uh, I found this really good article that shows where the images of where all the ships are and uh, of the congestion happening and then the ships uh, sitting around. So good example, we'll get some of the tankers near Iraq and Kuwait. Here's all the, uh, here's all the uh, tankers and if you look at the diagram, I'm sure look at the pictures, you'll be looking at like, okay, super tanker, super size. And this is based on how big the meters are. So let's check out China. So here's China getting some of their... Uh, some of the super tankers of oil and here's the ones on queue and here's their other uh ones in how many other countries so foreign countries are buying it because it's cheap in dollars and cheap in dollars is making it cheaper for them to buy oil so check out this article i will put this description below but let's check out the price of oil so we got that horrible massacre where you know oil had basically hitting negative 40 and since then f foreign countries have been massively buying and see it filled a gap right there so whoever trade you guys should trade crude oil you know, that's been a really big pull up but i may slow down and push it back down to more fair value i believe the 10 to 20 range of fair value for oil i think it's getting propped up by the fed but that's a different conversation to later on let's hit that forex news so guys the biggest news we got that's past monday we are right about here we're on wednesday ish about to happen but please check out friday the cad has an unemployment change and unemployment rates coming out so if you guys are trading cad pairs be aware of that that might be some big volatility it might not get your trade or get you in a good trade just uh, see what your perspective is just be ready for that next thing is guys please check out my home website andreamclinton.com for more how to trade and invest we go over key things you know seven i'm sorry eight key things in what a trade a trader needs especially when entering today's markets and we do one on one in private sessions. But that's the video, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.